YouTube. Today's midlife car crisis here. Um, coming back at you with my annual New Year new cards. Um, usually at the uh, right after Christmas, I have a bunch of pickups, and <clears throat> um, this year I have two I would consider very huge pickups. So I'm super excited to show those off, and um, let's get this rolling. Um, first. I did a little bit of breaking during at Christmas. Um, not my normal stuff. Normally, I just put a bunch of stuff in the cart um, down David Adams, and then I have my wife pick it up for me. But this year, I did pass on it because I never hit nothing good. So didn't want to waste money. I wanted more supplies, but did get a couple blasters and uh, stuff like that in. So. Um, did, let's see, a rack pack and um, blaster, a rack pack of Tops Update and a blaster of the Holiday Box. Um, so I pulled a judge out of the uh, rack pack as a Holiday Box. I got a Bregman uh, Bellinger, uh, another judge, and the uh, relic was a Javier Baez. So not bad there um, and then my wife did buy me a um, target exclusive rookies and stars and come with comes with three hits and I did I'm pretty awesome so uh, first one I got Deshaun Kaiser that was a jersey uh, Nathan Peterman a jersey uh, pulled this out of five uh, Corey Davis um, the stellar rookies um, it's a green parallel and pulled a monster hit the uh, Christian McCaffrey uh, rookie auto to 75 so finally at Christmas I hit a good card um, I guess a couple years ago I did hit a Johnny Manziel but that was after he was already being Johnny Manziel so wasn't really that great um, got a couple more pickups, just regular kind of base rookies, but picked up a Kevin Willis for the 80s rookie basketball. That was like three bucks. Um, picked up for the 80s football, uh, Cornelius Bennett. And um, picked this up for $2 plus shipping. Gem Mint 10, Chad Pennington finest rookie. So, I'm going to try to get all the rookies of Chad Pennington. Um, going to try not get a lot this year. I want to do a couple of player PCs and pick up a lot of stuff. So he's one of the guys I want to go for. He's pretty cheap. But um, Mets PC picked up a DeGrom Heritage Rookie. Uh, this is a photo variation from the complete set. Michael Conforto. Uh, just a regular tops. And I picked up the Gypsy Clean Queen Blue of Conforto. This was numbered so these may not be numbered, but it's like a blue frame. That's pretty awesome. And uh, let's go on to some of the good stuff here. Um, uh, at a National Treasures, uh, Keith Hernandez. Uh, super slick auto. Love his auto. Um, like the blue borders on this, so pretty awesome. He's also in Flawless this year, but I think I like this NT better. Um, this one's awesome too, my first Dave Winfield. Uh, don't think I showed this in another video or not, but the uh, five stars grow, is growing on me, especially the lower number ones. Uh, this is out of 25, so wanted Winfield for the PC. Finally have one. Um, picked up this Jeter score rookie, or select rookie, uh, 8.5. Um, I've had three of these. Um, Two of them grade of seven, one grade of four. So, just decide not to pick them up broad no more. Uh, so, I got an 8.5. <clears throat> and uh, down to two cards left. Uh, huge purchases. Um, normally, during Christmas, I get a little extra funds and I usually buy a little bigger ticket item. This year, I picked up two. Um, and you would think this would be a the bigger card, which is more expensive, but not to me, though. Um, Derek Jeter, 1993 SP rookie, uh, grade of BGS 8. Um, got this for 
I would say 100 bucks less than a PSA 8. So I'm cool with the BGS 8. Um, the main thing I liked about this was that the surface was an 8.5, um, which is a solid surface for this card. And that's where I was looking at. Uh, corners got an 8, edges were an 8, and centering is 9.5. So there is a couple chipping on some of the corners, like around here on the bottom, but the surface was good. Um, I'll go with the eight, got that for a good price, especially compared to a PSA eight. But the big card, um, not as expensive as that one, but um, for me personally, it is a huge, huge pickup. Um, some of you guys have seen this on Facebook, but. Um, I want to autograph for this guy. He's been my favorite Nick of all time, and I've been need to add him to the PC. And got the Patrick Ewing auto. And look at the shine on that thing. I mean, this card is just dope, man. Love it. Uh, this is out of Revolution. Um, just super excited about a card. Or this is the first time I've been excited about a card in a long time. Um, just fantastic, dude. Look at this thing. So, Ewing um, into the PC finally. So, he's going to be, he's the centerpiece auto. So, um, that's all I got for you guys. Um, check out my video I did before this from uh, Mike Gutierrez. Um, and then I had a couple other videos that didn't get as many views as I'd hoped. Um, one from uh, my boy uh, Alex, Sports Free for Life. So check those out too. Go back a couple of videos, not very long. Um, but yeah, finally got my SP Jeter um, back because I had a seven on that one as I sold and then uh, picked up this. So um, New Year's resolutions for cards. Uh, I could jump in that real quick. Um, <laughs> same as last year, finished the 80s PC. Um, I'm down to, I think, three cards. Uh, the Pucket 84 still, and I think I need a Topps Big Chris Sabo from 89, and I think Ellis Burks or Matt Williams, one of the two from 88, Topps Big. So that's it. Pretty pretty much done with those. Um, I like to be done with football as well. Um, I need to be at least down to Montana um, by the end of the year, so that means i got to get the Elway um, in an 8 at minimum which that's when I can afford. And then I also need to pick up the Lawrence Taylor in an eight and uh, Phil Sims in an eight. And then everything else is pretty manageable. Um, so I should be able to finish that off. And then I want to start on the uh, basketball. I'd like to get at least uh, three big name guys down. Um, Jordan will probably never come. That will be like the... Who knows when that, if that ever happens, but I like to get at least maybe like Isaiah Thomas, um, like Charles Barkley and maybe Dominic Wilkins, like players like that. Need three of those by the end of the year. And then uh going to save up for nationals and then um, I need to get a Jeter autograph. So those are the goals. We'll see how much of that I complete. Um, I know I'll be done with 80s because the Kirby Puckett's going to come real quick. And then, um, or 80s baseball. And then I'm probably going to start a nice binder project. Um, COMC, um, bunch, just get a bunch of uh, the plays I have in my binders, um, PC or non PC, but just maybe the good player binder, old school retired, some 80s base and stuff like that, just kind of fill it up. So I like to put a little more organization to my binders too. So but that's it, guys. I will. Be back with a hopefully a PSA return. Um, I will show off some of the stuff I had from the one I said I was going to do, uh, but most of those I just sold and they're pretty much gone. So, but I got another one coming in from Mike O, and it's uh, I already seen the grades. It's 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 hit or miss. So, but um, I'll see you all later. You have a good night.